Hi, we're curators at the National Museum of Singapore. We've got something interesting to share. Now, many of you would have heard that Sir Stamford Raffles was one of the founders of the Zoological Society of London. But did you know that Singapore's first British resident, William Farker, was just as passionate about natural history as Raffles was? William Farker commissioned artists to paint the different types of flora and fauna in the Malay Peninsula. And these paintings were very interesting because they were actually local artists trying to adapt to a more scientific approach to botanical and zoological drawing. This coming together of styles has resulted in a unique set of natural history drawings that can be best described as a hybrid. And it's amazing that despite Singapore being so vastly urbanised, most of these plants and animals documented have been hardy enough to survive for more than two centuries. But we shouldn't take things for granted, because some have gone extinct locally. To raise awareness that the natural heritage should be treasured, we've devised some exciting challenges. Once upon a time, you had to physically hunt an animal in order to study it. But now, all you need is a good camera and a keen eye. So for this episode's challenge, I call it the Great Shootout. Today, I challenge two professional photographers, both experts in their field, to come out of their comfort zone and take pictures of Singapore's animals. The animals they photograph must come from these two chapters. The challenge will start and end at the National Museum, where the photographers must hand in their SD cards for wildlife expert verification and review before the allocated six hours of hunting ends. Each photographer is given 48 hours prior to shoot day to study the book and six hours on game day to hunt for the animals. Okay, um... These drawings are pretty interesting. The style is has quite a distinctive Asian style to it. It's pretty interesting actually to, to know that there are so many um, different different animal species that have been around since like what 200 years or more. Wasn't this spotted at NTU just a while back? Yeah, so I didn't even know that a pangolin existed in Singapore. And I'm pretty excited. To, to see what kind of animals I can find. A couple of things that caught my attention earlier on. There's this uh, common palm civet cat that I've actually remember seeing when I was doing my military training with BMT in Tekong over here. So it looks like there are many many uh, interesting uh, animals here in, um, in the book. My plan will be to go to Sungai Bulo first. So I think I might have a better chance there. I'm not sure where Aloysius will go. If I want to look for a falcon, Sungai Bulo will probably be the quickest. There are dark clouds, but at the same time, there are, there's blue sky. So it's quite confusing right now. I don't see the other team bus. Maybe we're the only ones here. To be honest, this is my first time here in a really, really long time. I can't remember when was the last time I, I came here. Oh, this place is huge. I don't know how to walk. Eh? You know, lah. It says Eagle Point. Nope, nothing. I wonder how the other team is doing. <sighs> We're here at Sungai Buro. I hear some birds already. So hopefully the animals come out and play. Let's go. Hey, As mosquitoes count as wildlife. <laughs> hey, the monitor needs it. I think maybe it's done sunbathing. I don't know which species is that, but he's trying to dry himself off, I think. Where's the loisures, man? Do you think he'll come to Sungai Budo? Hopefully not, lah. Huh? It's a squirrel. There's some bird up there. The 
sign says Eagle Point that way. Oh, looks like we have a clear view of the sky. Maybe it's lunchtime. We better move, uh. this rain is going to be crazy. Oh, looks like it's Team B. We are done, we are done, we've got what we want. Here's five, five birds. birds. Yeah, I got five birds, you know. <laughs> we saw many birds. We will not say if we caught any. I think we have to sneak up on these monkeys. Any signs of human movement, they literally shy away. The family of monkeys just went off. We're gonna follow it, see what other interesting pictures I can make. It looks like they all start to come out after the rain. Looks like there's something in the water. It might be an otter. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What up, dude? My bag's really, really heavy. We're all wet and soggy socks. We made it to the top. And the view here is really, really spectacular. I'm able to go around and actually search for birds. Okay, the time now is 2.45. I think we are, we are done here. Okay, so now we are on our way back to the museum. It started raining, so we had no choice in a way but to head off. No hard feelings, Aloysius. I hope that I win. Okay, so now we are back here at the National Museum right after our lunch. Um, came back a little bit early, so we have some time to uh, walk around here. And apparently, someone spotted like a jungle fowl here. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. How was it? It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. And wet. And a lot of monkeys. Oh, monkeys. Wow. So, um, I'll need to collect your SD cards. Thank you. These cards will be going in to our friends at the Lee Kong Chin Natural History Museum. And they will be helping to verify some of the things. And yeah, mm. thank you very much. Tune in to part two to find out who the winner is.